Both these teams were well beaten in round one, but having blown away the cobwebs, time for the serious business, the season's first West Country derby. Just the 15 changes for Bristol from the side that lost at Quinns, and the completely new-look Bears made a bright start. Harry Thacker dragged over by the Maul inside five minutes. Callum Sheedy's boot took the home side's lead out to 13 points, and the Bristol defence got a good workout too. Gloucester's response to their 20-point defeat by London Irish was to bring in some old hands, including Matt Banahan. But the big centre found himself outnumbered here as this fixture delivered its usual intensity. But after Bristol had Dan Thomas sin bin for killing the ball, the Cherry and Whites did hit back before half-time thanks to a completely new face. Fair to say the break by Tom Marshall made Joe Simpson's debut try after his summer move from Wasps relatively straightforward. Gloucester still 13-5 down at the break and that deficit soon grew further. Not a hugely promising build-up for the Bears, but fullback Luke Daniels created the opening and the pace of Academy product Charlie Powell did the rest. With that, the Vista's prospects of a semi-final place in this competition were fading fast with a second defeat looming, but they managed to set up an intriguing final quarter by adding a second score of their own. Banahan taking the aerial route and not to be denied from close range this time. Lloyd Evans missed the chance to reduce the arrears a little more with the conversion, but another Bristol yellow card for replacement Jack Bates kept things interesting. And Gloucester did eventually edge the tri-count. Lock Gerbrandt Grobler muscling over with just three minutes left. Evans landed the kick this time, but it was just too late. A losing bonus point was all the visitors could muster, while Bristol had their first win of the new season.